Congratulations on your purchase of the Argo all-season amphibious off-road vehicle. And welcome to Safety Always in Season, the safety and operation video for the Argo. The Argo is a wise investment for year-round operation. Following proper maintenance and observing safe operation will ensure your investment will last for years to come. In this 20-minute video, we will highlight some of the most important issues for safe operation of your vehicle. This video is not intended to replace the operator's manual or participation in a driver training course. You should thoroughly read through the operator's manual prior to using your Argo for the first time. We also recommend periodic review of your manual as a refresh during extended periods of inactivity. We believe that common sense keeps safety always in season. Be sure to plan all of your off-road adventures thoroughly and always drive your Argo with care and precaution. To avoid serious injury, never operate your Argo under the influence of drugs, alcohol, fatigue, or in severe weather conditions. Before you start your vehicle for the first time, ensure that you have a thorough understanding of the entire Argo Operator's Manual. You may also inquire about the optional Argo Driver Training Course with your dealer. Be sure to read all the warning labels on your Argo. They are located on various areas around the vehicle and outline specific precautions that must be taken. Doing all this will help you operate your vehicle safely and keep it in good running condition. The Argo is an all-season amphibious off-road vehicle capable of traversing through the harshest terrain in the most remote regions. Before you take to the trails, ensure that you have purchased the following gear. Approved helmets. Appropriate eye protection. Personal flotation devices. Appropriate clothing and footwear. Paddles and extra jerry can for fuel. Fire extinguisher first aid kit. Your travels may also require you to pack additional equipment, mobile satellite phones, two-way radios, flare guns, extra food and water. Preparing in advance for your trip will ensure your safety and security and responsible operation will guarantee you enjoy your Argo in any season for years to come. Respect the environment. Tread lightly on land and water. Before heading out and hitting the trails, it's important to carefully inspect your vehicle and correct any problems that may be found. Perform a vehicle walk around. Check all tires for proper inflation. Inspect the lower body and skid plate for punctures. Ensure the drain plugs are fitted and closed. Ensure all headlights, brake lights, horn and turn signal, if equipped, are operational. Under the hood and floorboards. Remove floorboards. Inspect chains and bearings. Lubricate if necessary. Remove any debris from the air inlet and inside the lower body. Ensure a copy of the operator's manual is stored under the driver's seat for easy reference. Check engine and transmission for proper oil level. Check all master cylinders for proper brake fluid level. Inspect cooling level. Inspect CVT and fan belts. Inspect brake line and cables. Starting your Argo. Before you start, apply parking brake. Your vehicle is equipped with a neutral start switch. Ensure the gear selector is in the neutral position. Check steering master cylinders by moving the handlebars left and right. Steering should be firm with little resistance. Engage choke if required and start the engine. Your Argo is equipped with a high and low neutral and reverse transmission. To minimize damage and wear, gear selection should occur with the vehicle stopped and engine at idle speed. For Frontier models, gear selection is located at the firewall between the driver and passenger location. To select high or low, 
The shift lever must be in the down position. Push the lever to the right for high gear or to the left for low gear. To place the vehicle into reverse, place the shifter into neutral. Lift up, followed by pushing to the right. For all HD models equipped with the Admiral transmission, gear selection is found in two locations. Forward, neutral, and reverse is located at the firewall between the driver and passenger, while the high and low selection is located on the dash. The high and low selector remains in one of the two positions. To select forward, apply brakes with the left hand and move the shift lever left. To select reverse, move the shift lever to the right. It is recommended that the high and low shift be positioned in the low position when operating the vehicle in reverse. Once a gear has been selected, place both hands on the handlebar and accelerate smoothly down the trail. All Argos are skid steer vehicles. This means steering is achieved by slowing or stopping the wheels on one side while the wheels on the other side continue to drive. This makes the Argo ideal for handling rough terrain. It also requires the owner to become familiar with the vehicle's operation. Steering is accomplished by pulling the handlebar back with your left or right arm. By doing so, you apply brakes to one side of the vehicle, causing the other side to steer you through the turn. Operation in high or low range results in completing your turn by slowing or stopping the inside wheels. For vehicles equipped with the innovative triple differential Admiral transmission, the steering brakes and service brakes are activated by two separate circuits. Steering the Admiral transmission is accomplished by pulling the handlebar left or right. This applies a brake to the one side of the transmission. In high range, the result is a smooth, wide, swooping turn, similar to driving a UTV. When selecting low gear, the turn becomes sharper and turning radius decreases. High range is desirable in most uses regardless of payload, tires or track installation or terrain conditions. Low gear is desirable for those times when tight turns through brush or winding trails is required. Low gear offers little or no advantage when pulling trailers or driving a heavy, loaded vehicle. Remember, your Argo is a skid steer vehicle. The back end of the vehicle swings out in the opposite direction of the turn. This is especially important when your vehicle is equipped with rear-mounted accessories like tire holder, gas can holder, or outboard motor. Stopping the vehicle is accomplished by releasing the throttle, then applying the handbrake. The handbrake is located on the left side of the handlebar. To come to a full stop, decelerate and apply the handbrake with smooth and firm effort. Brakes are applied to both sides of the vehicle through all six or eight tires. Trail riding is a great way to get you and your team out and explore the outdoors. Trails are at times rutted or washed out by heavy rains. With its low ground pressure and full six and eight wheel drive, the Argo is an ideal vehicle to navigate through challenging trails. Care must be taken when encountering rutted areas. Depending on the depth of the rut, you could high center the vehicle on the skid plate it is best to straddle high spots, or better, avoid these areas. Driving through brush, fallen trees, or rocks poses some challenges even to experienced Argo users. Argo strongly suggests driving around obstacles, but in those situations where no other options exist, care, caution, and careful navigation will ensure a safe experience. Logs and fallen trees should be approached at an angle at a slow and controlled speed. Approaches at 90 degrees can cause the log to sit in between the tires and hanging up or high centering the vehicle on the skid plate. Ditch crossings should be taken at a slight angle. This will ensure that a drive tire maintains contact with the terrain at all times. Approaches head-on could cause the vehicle to hang up at the front or rear of the lower body. Approach large rocks slowly and carefully. 
and drive over the rock, allowing the tire to conform to the shape of the rocks. Ensure that your tire pressure is adjusted to the terrain conditions. Avoid steering into rocks. This could cause tire or rim damage. Avoid high-speed driving into rocks. This will cause tire, rim, axle, or bearing failures. Avoid straddling rocks so they pass under the skid plate. This could cause tearing or rupturing of the lower body. Avoid excessive steering in rocky terrain. This could cause rocks to shift or fly into other people, drivers, or equipment. Avoid side hilling on rocky terrain. The optional rollover protective structure, also referred to as a ROPS, provides additional protection for the occupants in case the vehicle overturns. Seat belts must be worn by all occupants if a ROPS is installed. A ROPS, however, can introduce additional hazards that have to be carefully weighed against the safety benefits of these devices. Please reference your operator's manual for a complete understanding of the ROPS. The addition of a ROPS raises the vehicle's center of gravity, lowering stability on both land and in water. Therefore, always wear your seatbelt when driving on land, but never when driving in the water. A six-wheeled Argo with ROPS installed should not be used in water at any time. Be particularly careful when driving under trees, as low-hanging branches can upset your vehicle. Never place or carry anything on top of the ROPS. This raises the vehicle's center of gravity. The increased instability and weight may mean that you will no longer be able to maneuver some slopes or obstacles. Follow all weight restrictions and, as always, drive slowly and carefully. Many times, hills are overgrown with vegetation hiding gravel, rocks, washouts, or fallen trees. The ground can consist of dry soil, moist wet clay, covered in snow, or unfamiliar to the operator. Hill climbing and descending can pose a challenge to any driver. It is always best to avoid steep hill climbs or descends if possible. When driving up a hill, ensure the following precautions are met. Ensure all cargo is secure and stowed on the floorboard in the rear compartment. Approach the hill head-on under controlled speed. Travel or move slowly up the hill. Avoid sudden and quick acceleration or making turns on a hill. It is important to keep the tires moving without spinning on the terrain. Slow the vehicle slightly when cresting the hill to avoid slamming the front of the vehicle. When descending a hill, control your speed. Increase engine RPM slightly. This will keep the CVT engaged and maintain a steady speed downhill. Be prepared to apply the handbrake. Avoid applying brakes suddenly. People and cargo may shift, causing a vehicle imbalance. Avoid making a full turn and side hilling. This can cause people and cargo to shift, causing a vehicle imbalance. Never climb or descend a hill in a 6x6 with people sitting in the rear of the vehicle. The Argo is an amphibious vehicle capable of crossing streams and small lakes. Before heading to the open waters, always inspect your vehicle for properly installed and closed drain plugs, proper operation of the bilge pump, punctures in the lower body, cargo placed deep in the lower body. Read and understand your Argo's operator's manual. Follow the weight restrictions because the maximum payload in the vehicle is decreased in water. Familiarize yourself and comply with local boating rules and regulations. For safe operation in the water, always wear appropriate personal flotation devices. Pack paddles, bail can, flare gun. Dress appropriately for inclement weather. If equipped with a ROPS, unfasten your seat belts. Driving in the water is accomplished with the web tread on the Argo tires, acting as a paddle to propel the vehicle forward. Turning the vehicle is accomplished in the same manner in the water as it is on land, pulling back on the handlebar left or right. For HD models, use of low gear is recommended to optimize maneuverability. 
When entering or exiting the water, find an area with a gradual slope. Avoid steep drop-offs and high-speed entry. Stay clear of visible rocks and tree stumps. Never stand up in an Argo. This increases the center of gravity and can cause the vehicle to tip. Avoid using your Argo in fast-flowing or rough, wavy water. The Argo is capable of operating in cold temperatures as low as minus 40 degrees. In these conditions, it is essential that both the Argo and passengers are prepared to deal with remote locations and extreme temperatures. Ensure your Argo is in good working order. Have an Argo dealer perform any necessary service or repair work before the winter season. Equip yourself for the elements. Carry the appropriate gear. Communications equipment, such as a cellular or satellite phone. GPS or a compass are particularly important when traveling to remote locations. To protect yourself from exposure, make sure that you wear proper clothing. Do not rely on the convertible top to keep you warm. And remember, engine exhaust fumes are poisonous and can cause illness or death. Allow for adequate ventilation in the passenger compartment when a top is installed. To prepare for an emergency, always carry extra food, a portable propane heater, additional fuel, and extra clothing. Driving over ice should be avoided when possible. When traveling on ice, always be aware of the ice conditions around you. Thin ice may lead to breakthroughs, or slush may quickly freeze around your vehicle. Make sure you have adjusted your payload accordingly. Prepare for all hazards and emergencies before traveling into remote winter locations, and be familiar with winter operations as described in your Argo Operator's Manual. Let your crew know where you are and how long you will be away. The Argo can be loaded in the back of a full-sized pickup truck or on a suitable trailer. Every Argo is equipped with front tie-down rings and rear hitch ring. Check your local regulation for proper vehicle fastening. Argo recommend using four individual straps when fastening your Argo to a trailer. Do not over-tighten the straps. Vehicle damage could occur. Loose equipment or gear should be securely fastened or removed from the Argo and securely stored in your truck. Ensure that windshields have been folded down, engine hoods are locked and properly secured. Extra straps across the windshield and hood can be added if needed. Do not use the winch cable to secure the front or rear of the vehicle. Damage can occur to the winch or the winch cable. Do not strap across the upper body of the Argo. Permanent damage, disfigurement, or vehicle shifting can occur. Accessorize your Argo and get the most out of your investment. Argo designs and manufactures a full line of useful options. For comfort, a convertible top and heater will provide protection from the elements, keeping you dry and warm. Brush guard options and windshield will protect you and your machine from hanging limbs or brush. If your work demands, add the certified rollover protection structure. Seat belts will ensure the driver and passenger are protected in case of vehicle tip over. Care must be taken when traversing areas with low hanging branches. Seat belts should be unfastened if using a ROPS equipped 8x8 in the water. For areas that demand the most out of you and your Argo, rubber or plastic track options provide superior traction while maintaining low ground pressure. You never know where your Argo will take you. A winch with a rear receiver is a must for any application. Read your operator manual for safe winch operation. Securing bulky loads is effortless using tie-down rings. And transporting your passengers is comfortable with a rear bench seat. An outboard motor bracket for up to a 9.9 .9 horsepower motor and a bilge pump will increase speed and improve safety. Installation of accessories can lead to an increase in vehicle length and width of your Argo. Be mindful of tail swing around people or property. Respect the environment and drive respectfully. 
Factory accessories increase the operational weight of the Argo. Adjusting your payload accordingly will ensure a safe and worry-free experience and protect your investment from premature wear or failure. Consult your operator's manual for a comprehensive list of accessory weights and effect this has on your Argo. This video was designed to give you a brief summary of the safety advice in your operator's manual. This video is not designed to replace the operator's manual or participation in a driver training course. To safely enjoy your new Argo, protect you and your passengers from injury, we recommend that you thoroughly read and understand your Argo's operator's manual. Because safety is always in season. If you have any additional questions concerning your Argo, please contact your local dealer or www.argoutv.com. For safety, we recommend wearing helmets and eye protection. When operating in water, always wear approved personal flotation devices.